Hi Leo. This is your weekly day by day tarot reading by M for the week of 17th of February 2020. I'm going to pull seven cards for you now. And it's going to be Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And Sunday. Your influencing energy this week is five of rows. A bit of a chaos, misunderstandings, um, slight conflict with friends, perhaps. This is all kind of friendly. This is not big conflict, big argument. No, it's kind of starting with, yeah, having fun. Maybe playing. We're just talking. And then just, just now somebody gets hurt. Interesting, we go two of a spade of cups, and knight of cups. Very nice. Okay, let me pull this. So many over the weekend, eh? Your clothes. Okay, Monday, Ten of Swords paired with Nine of Pentacles. Page of Cups, Tuesday, paired with Chariot card. Now, Ten of Swords on Wednesday, paired with Empress, the Empress card. Lovely. Now, Knight of Cups, paired with the Emperor. <laughs> now six of swords on Friday is paired with the star card Hyo. all mages and all your inner energies eh? now six of pentacles on Saturday paired with the judgment card <laughs> four of pentacles now on Sunday paired with You expected maybe more, <laughs> more money. <laughs> yeah, double one. <laughs> Confirmation: Five of Rods, Four of Pentacles. Having money just to survive, eh? and and sticking to it, or maybe not. Uh, you don't want to move uh, forward or invest, or just because you're not sure, you don't want to lose it. That's what you got. You got something a little bit, but you don't want to lose it. So, you know, it's kind of you're stuck in a situation. Should you go forward with something or you're just stuck there because it's safe? Safe place. Safe amount of money, whatever. Safe and secure. It's often, often, often very, very contracting. Very, uh, um, um, how can I put it? Um, stagnant, very stagnant energy. Uh, now, very interesting Monday, very interesting Monday. Now, I love the energies that you feel within, that you've got within. It's all major arcana, something major, something within you. And it's in a big way, it's changing. You, you're bringing a major decision. You put in structure into something very major for you. You 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 transforming yourself and you're doing it uh, consciously. You're doing it purposely. Um, you want to do. You know exactly what to do. All of it is your energy within you. That what you want for yourself. This I want for yourself. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change. I'll change. Your awareness that you want to change and how you're going to do that, what you're going to become, that type of energies for you. The whole week, look at these majors and the beautiful ones, this judgment, this star, empress and emperor. Anyway, back to Monday. Monday, ten of swords and nine of pentacles beautiful energy it's once you finish something that that is the, that was a project that was something that you worked on ten of pentacles uh, no, sorry not ten nine of pentacles something you worked on the, and it was quite a hard work this uh, um, nine of pentacles it's not easy money that you worked for 
And uh, it's not just the money, it's the results that you're getting. Recognition, something, but you come to the point that you are recognized, that you do have money, you've got results of your work, whatever it is, results of the situation, whatever for you applies. Leo. And you are very happy there, but you, you know, this person is alone. That is all. It's a beautiful garden. You manage everything. You put a dot in a beautiful way. You achieved. You achieved. This is achievement. You achieve a lot. And you look all golden here and beautiful. This is abundant place. But then, feeling after it that that's lost. Was it too hard work behind you to get to this point? Yeah, you're enjoying it. But maybe it was something too much. But it, being that there's um, uh, this um, swords in there, too many swords, perhaps it was something mental. Mental, uh, was it in a way that you had to make, have lots of conversation, lots of contacts with people, uh, a lot of, lot of unpleasant situation that you have to mentally deal with, process it intellectually, mentally, something, and you are dead of it. You know, like I finished, I've done it, and it's beautiful, but I'm dead. You know, like you often, often, you know, even I know myself, when I clean my house and I finish everything, you know, and then in the evening, say, oh, I'm dead. Yeah, that kind of feel, that why you're dead. But you finish something that made you very happy, that made, brought you some abundance, that brought you to a very prominent place. Somehow the way it's done, somehow the way uh, you went through that, it was hardship for you. Some process was hardship for you and you're very happy that it's over. It's over. Tuesday, your page of cups. Look how sweet this little page in this deck is. <laughs> Such a beautiful child. This is um, and it's beautifully depicted energy. It is a deck light uh, energy, very emotional, very, very childish. When you know you you just beginning something and feeling as a child, it can really mean a child. It can get you can get news from some child, you know, maybe something of some very young person that you uh, um, have contact with. Also, the chariot card, though it's your feeling. Card number seven. Card number seven. Um, cancerian um, maybe one that um, brings a little bit of a challenge you know this is a cancer card and up on top is something very emotional that is brought there like a child like unstable something emotional seems beautiful but unstable you know wobbly uh, um, mm -hmm. just now it can change to something completely different you know you know when you feel oh is everything is so loving but then you start your mind start working but maybe it's not really like that you know you sabotaging yourself oh sorry sorry when you oh my camera i think it's a lot is it okay um when you kind of sabotaging yourself with this uh, um um, feeling yes or no, black and white, should I, should I not, you know, that kind of feelings are sabotaging you. <laughs> Instead of just to accept something that is beautiful, no, you're trying to pocket, you know, and see maybe what, what is wrong, maybe uh, uh, even that side or things like that. That kind of energies on Tuesday for you with this chariot and page of cups. To this chariot, being that is within you, that is your energy down there, that one is kind of, it's always winning. That one is going to win because that one does have a goal in front of him. It says finishing line, you know, and it's going to race and it's competitive, which suits you. That kind of feelings very much suits you. This one is not afraid to compete, even likes it, whatever situation on Tuesday is the chariot card even with that competitive feeling I still I still <laughs> coming back to this page to this emotional state I still think that is all about emotions uh, in and unstable emotions on Tuesday for some reason 
for some reason you have an unstable emotion whatever situation comes your way it will be it, it's at one moment oh you're loving it oh you're so passionate and the next moment you say no it's fake you know things like that from one side to another from black to white from one side to another, you are very very uh, it's uh, uh, this emotionally emotional instability kind of on Tuesday a little bit eh? now Wednesday ten of wands again one ten another ten now completion 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 there's something that was your um, as I said, it's a mental work. It's conversation, communication. It's uh, air, the uh, um, uh, air energies of, as I said, communication and conversation that that really uh, brought you. You achieve something there, as I said, but then it it brought you to the you know situation that you you know dropping dead. You're tired of it, of tired of this explanation, communication, so and so. Now. Wednesday with this ten. Now this ten of wands tells me you are now uh, um, having load and and working physically. This is physical work, something that you have to do. It's a doing something, and many things, many things you have to do. Now the Empress card underneath the Empress card. Perhaps you feel that. It is worth because you expecting massive results out of it. The Empress promises massive results, abundance, magic. You know, she's pregnant, there's child on the way. You see what I'm you expecting miracles to happen and you're not sparing yourself, you're working hard, you wanna do it. That kind of feeling, I'm not gonna stop because this is gonna bring me very far. This is gonna bring me abundance that kind of feeling that you have and as I said you know sparing yourself you executing you working tirelessly now Thursday now we have this um, what I noticed at first it was um, this page of cups and then it's a knight of cups and the emperor underneath now your feeling of emperor here I can um, I have to actually carry on with this because it's just one after another. It's you progressing from Empress that's sitting there in abundance now and working hard, working hard because you you feel that it, it, that hard work promises something big for you. Now on Thursday, I see you already putting structure day. You thinking really uh, um, much further right now. You you're thinking far. Uh, you putting your boundaries much further. Your life is now uh, extending towards something uh, um, really big. I think you you've got on your mind something really big. So I cannot see. I don't even. Uh, see that you can see exactly details here like everything is in your heart like it's in passion it's you simply know it in your gut that you have to go for this you have to now you're putting structure in here and as i said everything seems so major everything is so big are you changing yourself or working on yourself it seems to me what i said at the beginning but in a major way in a major way king uh, um, um knight of cups that is very light energy I cannot even, you, perhaps you're dealing with somebody somebody who's a bit younger, somewhere around 30s, 35, person that is very artistic, uh, uh, some musician maybe, or artist, uh, um, painter, whatever. Something artistic there. And a person that is very, um, it's emotional person, a bit more stable than paid, but still, that one is in action. You know, that one, it's emotion in action. Um, how can I put it? Um, when you like um, uh, calling your friends, let's go have a good time. Somebody, some of your friends, this could be your just your friend. Um, 
uh, uh, supporting you, supporting you in here, or you're dealing with one like that, or it's important for the structure that you're bringing, because it's there. For some reason, this uh, person, this artist is very important for this structure, for something that you're working on. Pisces or, or uh, um, Cancer, Cancer or uh, Scorpio person, perhaps. Or anybody else, just something, somebody like that who's very emotional, who's artistic, and who's kind of always. It seems you, uh, this Knight of, of Cups always seems a bit shallow. How can I put it? It always seems a bit shallow. It seems uh, a bit jollier than it's supposed to be in a situation or things like that. You see what I'm saying? But for some reason, this person is important for this structure that you that you. Uh, um, uh, making the maybe one that you pull in to get that with you into the into something some project or some situation friday the star card and six of swords now we again have these swords but then again something is over perhaps something which was hard work maybe that a project that you have that you've been working very hard on now you your realization it doesn't need to be that hard work you, you know it's six of swords uh, um, tells you you're doing it hard way you know there is an easier way for whatever this situation is there is the is there is easier way you're doing it the hard way and there's your realization now you're going to do whatever your situation is something a bit on a lighter note you're not gonna argue you're not gonna cross your swords uh, you're not going to go into deep water you know to drown yourself no you will go just in the shallow water you keep it quiet you just move away you just move away from the situation if it was hard way doing something hard way you'll find the proper way to do the job but still not to exhaust yourself with the star card tells me being very optimistic being very optimistic whatever you're planning there whatever it comes uh, um, appears here on Friday after all this energy kind of tells me tells me that you become very optimistic now that you realized the different way of doing it different way of approaching the the whole thing that you are busy with the whole uh, project or situation now you realize there is a different way and you're very optimistic because of that perhaps you've been doing everything very hard way and it brought it it was bringing you doubts or too tired or you were just exhausted with it or it was too much hardship for you now it's a change of plan so change the plan and you're very optimistic there look at this judgment card and six of pentacles now i love this saturday i don't know why this saturday wasn't on tuesday or monday <laughs> this, <laughs> this six of pentacles on judgment look the six of pentacles charitable uh, charity uh, uh, giving and rec uh, receiving money gifts pleasantries uh, success ego all very nice six of pentacles is really nice card to receive by no means even if you're receiving gifts it's very nice if you're giving it it's beautiful as well now the judgment card you feel it there your decision your decision to be charitable not to be maybe nitpicky not to be uh, um, too harsh to be well with people to sit with people well, to uh, try to understand, try to help or accept help and uh, uh, um, being willing to accept help, whatever or by some means help. But judgment card is there. Maybe, maybe there is somebody from your past that is coming now this is also resurrection of a situation you know it's a situation or a people that you people that you knew from earlier on they're coming now in your life big time talking some money bringing some gifts uh, negotiating as well this also negotiation 
Now, it's either something like that, or it is a situation now, after all of it, that you recognize you've been there already. You've done this business, you've done these dealings, you've there with these negotiations. You know, you know this situation, there's nothing new for you, you're recognizing it. It could be something like that for you if you're negotiating business, if you are in your career or something like whatever it is, but this perhaps recognizing old situations as well. All people from your past. Now, as I said at first, four of pentacles, four of pentacles and uh, and uh, three of swords, your expectations somewhere, somehow, on Sunday were a bit bigger than this, bigger than four of pentacles. Just security there, just being secure, being happy because you were secure on a stable plateau, perhaps you expected a bit more. Maybe from this situation, from your past, maybe from all this, I don't know what was going on. I, I see that it is something big This is going on, that you're carrying the load and you're doing a lot and you're mentally very engaged. This like like there's many many situation leo that you're dealing with and they come in a way very major and you're completing it you're doing it but you're expecting expecting something for you there and somehow you got disappointed there you got disappointed like like all of this for that you know something like that like disappointment but but let me tell you something with all this major account, look, within you, out of seven cards, you have five major arcana. Tells you something. You feel yourself, you're changing yourself, and it's not to be disappointed. You are perhaps somebody who's going to just now burst and, and start flying. <laughs> what I'm saying. So this perception of, no, I didn't want this, I want more. Yeah, more is perhaps inevitability for you. More abundance, happiness. I mean, it's definitely inevitability for you. Beautiful. Uh, it, it's, it's a bit kind of, there's a bit heaviness in this spread, um, I have to say. But I, I cannot see nothing bad. I mean, this is silly. <laughs> this is silliness on Sunday. Everything is very major and you are major. Within you, you are major. Leo, I hope that you that you're going to enjoy your week.